wow, I just can't believe that this day has actually arrived. Like I am weaning my baby. If you know me, like you will know that I have dreamed of having a baby to introduce food to forever. Like I'm a full on foodie. Follow me on Instagram, Blooms Eats. Clue is in the name. It was a page about my food, but obviously now we have branched out to motherhood and loads of other things. But anyway, go and follow me there. Being such a foodie and knowing like the joy that food brings to one's life, I've literally always dreamed of just like having a baby, introducing food to it, him or her. And now that day is here. Hi, welcome back by the way. Yeah, welcome to another vid. I've been meaning to put this video together for a little while because I've been filming clips of Harper, my baby girl. She's going to turn seven months tomorrow. I've been filming clips of her being introduced to food since the end of December. So about six weeks-ish. I thought this would be a good time to make the video. I was reluctant to doing it like straight away because not saying I know what I'm doing now, but obviously at the beginning, I'm just kind of dabbling. I am a qualified nutrition coach, but I don't specialize in like infant nutrition. I specialize in weight management, athletic performance for adults. And that is the backbone of my coaching. I've been an online coach for three years now. But anyway, yeah, although I don't claim to be like an infant specialist, I do understand nutrition, obviously. And yeah, I know I've got good instincts and that kind of thing. So I very much trusted my ideas and my knowledge around nutrition to kind of give Harper a good start to her eating journey. Even though you can watch loads of videos, you can look at loads of information online. I do feel like you do just have to go with what you feel comfortable with. And even though like other people might be doing this and you think that looks great, like just do what you think is best, I think is my best advice. And there's so many different opinions on how to wean your child, what to give your child, which I've experienced firsthand whilst sharing nuggets of my weaning journey on Instagram. If you follow me on Instagram, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm not going to get into it here. I vowed never to talk about it again, but hashtag yogurt gate. But yeah, there's loads of different opinions on like how to wean your baby, baby led weaning, spoon feeding. If you know me and if you followed my motherhood journey, you know that my kind of mantra is just not to ever put myself in one camp and just to try and make things fun, flexible. And that's what we've done with feeding literally since Harper was born. So I was pretty much breastfeeding 80, 90% of the time. And then we'd give her one bottle of formula a day. And um, a lot of people would be like, why don't you just express and give her breast milk in a bottle? Because I don't want to, because the whole point is that if I end up going out for longer than I expected, I'm not tied into going home. I don't have to pump all the time. And we've just got that flexible option. I personally love combination feeding. I'm still breastfeeding now. And actually I'm breastfeeding more now because almost the food has kind of replaced that formula supplement and um, so we're only really giving her like one maybe two bottles a day of formula then I'm breastfeeding the rest of the time but anyway the whole point is that I wanted to have the same kind of mindset when it came to weaning so haven't gone down exclusively baby led weaning haven't gone down exclusively spoon feeding I'm trying to do a mixture of both and I actually really like it and I know that there's like pros and cons and everyone, everyone's got an opinion but I don't I just like everyone to do what makes them happy however you decide to wean your babies is bang on for you so you're smashing it but like for example I really like giving her um, you know a whole piece of avocado that she can kind of like lick and feel and look at and kind of you know chew a little bit and then also give her mashed up avocado that she can have with a spoon and then I also like to place a whole avocado on the tray so she can see oh that's what this is this is this in this version and in this version I just think that's quite fun so that's what I have been doing and I thought that maybe I would be a little bit more sort of baby led in terms of more solid foods but just at the beginning she's just she's such a hungry baby always has been she's never rejected a bottle she's never rejected a boob she's never rejected food like whatever she get has she will just eat it all she's just a very hungry baby and I just feel like only giving her finger foods when she's like so young and just still kind of learning it's like not filling her up and she's just getting um frustrated I know you can persevere similarly with like exclusively breastfeeding all that thing I know you can just like persevere and blah 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 but for me I'm like I want her to like be a bit satiated from this meal so that's why I'm doing a little bit of both that is what's working for me so I'm loving having a good all-round approach to weaning but anyway let's get into when we started how we started and what we did and maybe I'll take some tips away from this and make sure you are subscribed because I upload new videos regularly and give this video likes I guarantee you're going to enjoy it so as I said Harper is a very hungry baby so I thought that she was ready to wean earlier than the standard six months. So at about five and a half months, I started introducing her to some food. She wasn't really ticking all the boxes, if I'm honest. So she obviously wasn't quite ready. Like she wasn't fully sitting up by herself. You know, she wasn't even really able to like hold food and like bring it to her mouth, but she was just hungry and she did want it. So I know they say there's like a few signs to like 
tick box to look out for and those are the main ones I believe but just because she was so interested in food I'm like let's just give her a little bit so I made some breast milk porridge I just thought that was the easiest thing so I just like blitzed up some like oats so that they were sort of ground just microwaved it for like 15 seconds with some breast milk obviously let it cool and then just gave her that so pretty basic and she was like shoving the spoon in her mouth like she really seemed to enjoy it so I was like okay cool maybe she is ready for some food so I kind of continued the momentum from there thinking about it mm. but kind of quickly learnt that I don't think she's quite ready and then I did end up taking a couple of weeks break because that's what I read and um, if you don't feel like they're ready leave it a week and then try again and kind of you can see the developmental sort of changes then. I gave her breast milk porridge just like once like for a couple of days and then I introduced her to some um, vegetables and stuff like that so I gave her some avocado as I said like a whole strip of avocado and then a mashed up bowl of avocado but I was finding I had to like place the avocado like in her hand and she just like didn't really know what she was doing just like not quite there yet so I was like spoon feeding her some of the avocado she seemed to really like it and it's like that reflex where they're kind of you know spitting it back not spitting it back out but just like not kind of instinctively ingesting it in so I did a couple more things I gave her some carrot well we are now day four and we've got some carrot it's exciting isn't it so we're just boiling the crap out of it so um yeah let's let's dive in okay here is our delicious lunch dinner what time is it lunch let's um let's give this one a try get some steamed carrot like sticks like so they were just squishy and then some mashed carrot and then i also did some potato potato time it's just like crisps And I did some broccoli. Do you like it? It's a cruciferous vegetable called the broccoli. Part of the brassica family. And I did some spinach. Well, this looks nice. Another day, another vegetable. Today we are having spinach. Drain this into the blender. Delicious. <laughs> She's gonna love this one. It's pretty good, that blender. I'm not giving her anything like handheld today. Just gonna see how she gets on with this, which is fun. And then after that, sort of five days of vegetables, I was quite, I quite liked that she'd been able to have these different tastes, but I just could tell it wasn't like the experience that I thought it would be. And I knew it's because she just wasn't quite ready yet. So I basically gave it like two weeks after that until she was probably about six months and one week or maybe like six months and two weeks and I definitely felt like she was ready like she was sitting up better she was grabbing foods better and like it was just clear that she was more ready to be weaned so I think that's a good bit of advice like if you think that they're not ready just like leave it a week like they're still getting their main nutrition from their milk and um, food before one is just before fun and all that kind of thing so I think definitely just have a little bit of trial and error and then that'll be perfection. Look at all this cute stuff that Jeff's mum got for Harper for Christmas We've got these Weaning suction bowls. We've got some bibs. And then we've got like the jackets that you put on, which apparently fantastic if you're having like yogurt and like just in general messy food. So maybe I'll use one of these. Today we're gonna give her some banana, which is gonna be a real treat, I think. Do you feel like shit? Do we need to sterilize the banana? Like, do you know what I mean? Mm. Do you want a banana? Eventually I gave her some banana because I was like, oh my God, she's gonna love this. It's so sweet. I wanted to hold off and give her like more vegetables first because that's what they say. Like you don't want them to get used to just like the really sweet te taste. You want them to get used to like the more bitter, earthy taste. I'm very good at sitting up now. Oh, it does suction. Let me know. Mash it up as much as I can. Mash banana, mash banana. You've got your mouth open. I think you're excited. Excited to try some banana. What do you think? You like it? <laughs> Daddy? Did you see if she puts it in her mouth? I'll be excited. God, I've just had my eyebrows done and they're like through the roof. Um, I didn't have anything prepped today. Like I've got some sweet potato in the fridge and some green beans, but I don't know if you've ever weaned your baby or if you haven't, this is maybe something good to know. Um, 
like there's just such an ample time when to try and introduce them to food like they can't be tired they can't be hungry they can't be full so like if she's had a good feed before going to sleep like for a nap then I'll try and do it like when she wakes up. I don't know when she's gonna wake up, so I don't really like to kind of pre-prep, like I know you can meal prep, and that is a really good tip. But I'm very, very busy, and I'm, I'm just kind of winging it, so don't, yeah, don't come at me. So I thought instead, I'd try again with a bit of avocado, which the, I had three avocados, all of which were needed to go in the bin, so yeah. Um, so I thought I would just give her some yogurt. So I've just given her a bit of Greek yogurt today and she's actually loving it, but really trying to get her to improve her like hand to mouth coordination because she really wants to grab the spoon and stick it in her mouth, but she's just leaning forward like she wants me to do it. So come on, put it in your hand and then you can eat it. I'm glad, glad she's having some yogurt because it's a lovely good source of protein. So I think tomorrow I'm gonna do sweet potato and then the day after I'll do some green beans. I don't feel like I'm officially weaning. I know like, weaning like comes in waves but i'm literally just giving her little tastes of things over like from these kind of couple of weeks i think then like once i've done that i'll probably like do it again but like way more sort of prepared so she's got like a plate of like steamed soup potato and she can like pick it up herself but for now i'm just like experimenting with taste and just getting her used to like sitting in this little seat but there's no rush you know i just want to like do it really gradually but i don't know you seem to be enjoying it you're gonna be a foodie like me you like that didn't you this is what i don't understand about babies they pick up everything and put it in their mouth like well my baby does anything anything and everything pick it up and put it in their mouth but like not so much with the food i want to do a bit of both but I really want her to sort of improve picking up the, why do they not pick up the food and put it in their mouth? Or maybe it's just nothing. So since I resumed this whole weaning experience, probably would have been about three weeks ago now that we've been really consistent with it. Okay, we're doing sweet potato today. So I'm gonna give her a couple of these like finger sized pieces and I'm gonna like mash. <laughs> it's an exciting time, I know. I'm gonna mash this bit, but it's like so hot. So I'm gonna have to give it like 10 minutes, literally. It's like roasting. Um, but I think this should be quite cute. Like, sweet potato is the best, right? So, I've got high hopes. Let's just leave that for a minute. I'll continue to mash in a second. I need to make some notes on here because what have we done? We did spinach, and she liked that one. We did banana, and she liked that one. I'm just trying to do like little faces so I remember what she liked. Is that all we've done? We've done oats and porridge. She liked that. Where's the sweet potato? Is it not even on here? Yams. We're having yams. Let's give it a little tick now and then we can see. I think she likes this one. She's not amazing at picking it up and putting it in her mouth, I will say, but you know, we'll, we'll get there. Great. <laughs> because I'm not going to lie, like at the beginning, I'd like give her a meal or like give her something and then wouldn't give her something the next day. like. I don't want anyone to think that as soon as we start weaning, I'm giving her three meals a day because it's just not the case. And like sometimes, because it's not a habit yet, it's not part of our routine to like prep her food. Like you could, you can just forget. Like there's a lot of other things going on. I'm still full time working. <laughs> Let's press more porridge and strawberry coolie. She just threw it under the bed. Stunning. Yeah, so she also loves some um, overnight oats in the morning. I've tried giving her just like a hard boiled egg. Sometimes I'll mix this with some avocado. Um, and then I also gave her like an aubergine and lemon dip, which went down well. She keeps doing the lemon face, you know, like when you eat a lemon and it's tart. But she's getting so good at just like holding foods now, like picking up the avocado, picking up some pancakes. She loves a really simple banana pancake in the morning or I'll sometimes make just like a really basic like cheese omelette and she loves picking that up as well. So it's just been amazing. But now we're definitely in a better routine where she's having at least two meals a day. She always has breakfast and she'll normally have like lunch or dinner. To be honest, I find like with her wake windows, if she's having three meals a day and breast milk formula i'm like all she's doing is eating in those wake windows that like, we don't even have time to like play because by the time we've like you know given her food and like done all of that and then maybe she'll have a bit of boob to like top her up or whatever and like maybe in time to nap again you know so we're just going with the flow but probably having at least two meals a day so the main things she's having now is she pretty much has two different breakfasts that we alternate just because it's really easy for me and she loves them but she loves overnight oats so i basically just blend oats yogurt and a fruit the night before, leave it in the fridge, and then she has it the next day. So blueberry overnight oats has been a firm fave, so just blueberries, Greek yogurt, and oats blitzed. I'll spoon feed her that in the morning, or she'll have like banana, oats, Greek yogurt, blitzed. So yeah, either overnight oats or something that, which I've introduced recently, which she just like seems to absolutely love, and she'll just like devour the whole thing. And I like it because it's quite calorically dense, but it's also a good source of 
protein and fats. So she's been having Greek yogurt. I've been using farge because it's like higher in protein mixed with um, avocado and then a little bit of lemon juice. But that's just like such an easy breakfast if like you've woken up and you've just like got nothing prepared for them. Like I really like making that. So yeah, in the morning I tend to like spoon feed her something. And then for dinners, she's been having like a lot of what we've been having, which is quite cool lately. So I made her her own spaghetti bolognese. Hey Missy, should we give it a try? What do you think? I was making us spaghetti bolognese. I know you can like do it all in one pot and like make it baby friendly, but I just prefer doing like a little mini saucepan version for her. Like it's no extra effort. So whereas I did us like a normal regular spaghetti bolognese with all the trimmings, um, I just did for her a little handful of onion, a lot of carrot, a little kind of handful, like a little of beef mince, and then um, just like chopped tomatoes, which had like no added salt or sugar. It was just 100% tomatoes simmered that and blitzed it and um, yeah she absolutely loved it and I thought that was quite good because she was getting introduced to um, beef you know good source of iron in there she had that for two days then and then another thing which she's had loads because I just find it really easy and convenient again and a good opportunity to like introduce it to different vegetables and things like that um, is steaming whatever vegetables you've got so I've done multiple different versions of this and then mix uh, blitzing up those veg and mixing it with couscous so she's had red pepper aubergine steamed blitzed and mixed with couscous and she's had like um, butter beans red pepper and tomatoes steamed blitzed and mixed with couscous and then that's just like a, again another really easy dinner for her like two days ago I made us a chicken soup so I basically just did like a sofrito based like chicken stock all of that kind of thing and then I just did her her own little separate version which had like a sofrito base um chicken and I just didn't use stock I know you can get baby stock now which I didn't know but somebody told me on Instagram so that's great but I just did water add a little bay leaf in there simmered it and then I shredded up the chicken blitzed up the veg and then she had like a smooth kind of chicken soup and she actually really liked that and had that for two days so I'm all about convenience and just trying to adapt what we're making for ourselves for her and always trying to prep in advance like I always try and prep breakfast for her the night before because if I just have that ready to go in the morning, it's so much more convenient. Obviously things to consider are allergens, which is really important. We've done some allergen testing, like she's had egg. Like milk, I knew that she was fine because she does have formula so like yogurt and everything she's been she's been fine with like I've given her egg and she's been fine with that like it's always important to try and give them any allergens earlier on in the day in a really small quantity and then just like monitor them so I haven't given her any nuts or nut butter yet that's the next thing I'm gonna do I'm just nervous like I think I'm just like any mum I'm just like nervous to introduce these allergens like so scared that they're gonna have a reaction so my plan is to give her some yogurt and just put a tiny tiny bit of peanut butter in it like literally like a quarter of a teaspoon and just kind of stir it in and then she'll be kind of exposed to it and I can monitor her so that's my plan so I want to, you should try and do those things like sooner rather than later but yeah she's had like beef and she's had chicken and she's had salmon and she's had egg and she's had yogurt and she's had avocado and she's had loads of vegetables loads of fruits like she's pretty much tried most things I've got like a little chart which I've been ticking off but like if you're nervous about weaning just try not to overcomplicate it just don't give them salt don't give them honey do your you know allergen testing which is like very commonly available online if you're like worried about like what not to give them or like what to try but anything else like they're just normal people like us like they can eat everything like they can just eat what you're eating just as long as it doesn't have like salt and it's not you know a choking hazard like i wouldn't give i'm not going to give her like full grapes or like full blueberries or anything like that she does gag and they do gag and that's absolutely fine and normal if they're making a noise like a huh noise that's a good thing it's like their you know reflexes they need to practice uh, being able to like chew and swallow their own food um i think they say like noise is good if they're noise and red is good if they're like Ooh, and like going a bit red but if they are silent and turning blue um then that isn't good so obviously just always make sure you have a phone on hand and just be really really careful like do your own research and um, be careful but also don't let it like scare monger you because yeah if you follow the kind of guidelines you'll be absolutely fine you know but i do get that it's just a natural anxiety to have and i totally have felt it too like even when she gags and is going red like I'm like, you okay? <laughs> but like also trying to be really calm and like really chilled. So anyway, I thought I would just share a little bit about the beginning of our weaning journey and like show you some bits of kind of how it's gone. Again, food before one is just for fun, so don't stress out about it. Like if you go a couple of days, I'm giving them food, but they're having their like normal like milk fees, like they will be fine. And I know that's not like the advice that you'd probably get from your midwife or health visitor. I'm not a midwife or health visitor, but I'm a realist. And I get a lot of messages on Instagram 
and I always try and make sure people know that I'm not just like giving her three meals, three meals a day, so organized, all of her food is prepped because it's just not the case, like we're all just winging it, but just try and make it enjoyable, like no stress, no pressure. It's very easy to just like go online and find, find some basic guidelines like there's not a ton of, of rules but it's just like some really easy like obvious things to just like follow and just to make sure that it's a really like good safe environment and then it can just be really really fun like it's such a fun experience like, introducing somebody to food for the first time when there's like so many amazing like flavors and textures and things that they can experience so yeah just try and enjoy it and i know maybe it could have covered more in this video but i can do a lot more videos on weaning because as I said I feel like I'm only really in the flow of it for like three weeks now and as I said we're doing a little bit of everything a little bit of finger foods a little bit of purees some pancakes thrown in here and there you know making it fun but I'm sure I'll have a lot more to update on maybe in like the next couple of months so I can always do like a part two but when I've looked at videos it's a lot of like later down the line and I'm always like yeah but what did you do at the very beginning and I found that I couldn't really find that so maybe this will help but um, yeah if you did enjoy it please give it a like because as I said it really does help the algorithm on YouTube for other people to discover this delightful video but also my channel and subscribe because I upload new videos regularly so no doubt the next video is going to be um, a great one but I'll look forward to seeing you in that one happy weaning enjoy and I'll see you soon